Got the chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking plus she good Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Space Jay here. Just wanted to talk about a few things. The first thing I want to talk about is Phase Apex. I was literally featured in one of his videos, but it's not the like good good type of feature. But I put out a tweet on my Twitter saying a message about Phase Clan about their clickbait titles and always doing vlogs. But that tweet literally got posted on Phase Apex's video, and I was. When I saw that, I was like happy in a certain way, because why would you? Why would I ever think that I would ever be on a 1.5 million subscriber channel, right where my tweet is, right in the video? I would never think that I would ever be featured in a video of 1.5 million subscriber channel. That was, that's just truly amazing. And I would, I literally never expected it. I, because I know when I tweet, I don't think anybody sees it besides Turtle or people on my team. I would never think a bigger YouTuber will actually look at my tweet unless somebody sent that tweet to them. But I think that Apex looked at my tweet because they saw about that. Because I literally, when I watched Scarce's video, Scarce literally talked about FaZe, FaZe Clan, because they got. People were talking about them like they were always producing these clickbait titles and stuff, and their thumbnails were always had errors on them, playing the clowns and copying copying other YouTubers because you know people are view happy. But me and Face Apex are both right in, in a certain way, and I, and I really used to like Face. I just used to watch them all the time because I like watching the Face people's videos, especially the Call of Duty videos, because. Because me watching Call of Duty videos, like, helped me, but I like the Call of Duty videos from FaZe. They were entertaining, but then I didn't, I, like, kind of stopped watching them because they started uploading more vlogs and gameplays, and that's what got me, like, that's why I switched to Optic. I, I like Optic Gaming now, because then, because they produce more gameplays, and that's why I like them. Like, the main FaZe people I, like, watch is FaZe Rain. The reason why, like, I don't watch Phase Rain anymore because you know why? The Vape Lord Nord. I don't like, I don't like Vape Lord Nord. I'm still basically subscribed to Phase Rug 2, but I don't, like, really watch the videos unless it seems interesting. Like, it doesn't seem interesting anymore just to watch vlogs. Like, I used to watch vlogs when I was younger, but I'm not into vlogs anymore. I'm more into the Call of Duty gameplays. But, like, the only thing, only Phase member that's really huge that I noticed is posting Call of Duty gameplay is Phase Jev. I still watch Phase Jev to this day because he's funny. He does funny stuff and <laughs> seriously like all his content that he makes is really funny. But it's just too bad like every mostly every Phase member that's huge in Phase Clan only uploads vlog, vlogs now. Like you barely see any gameplays from them. I, I used to want to join when I started playing Call of Duty. I would always like, like to join Phase but now I like all this stuff is happening with phase. Like I wanted to switch to optic. I want like I want to join optic now. Like I'm an optic fanboy, if you put it in those terms. Because seriously, optic is a really good team. They they have lots of good players and stuff like that. They like when I watch their like these COD champion streams, they're like like always on like top of the list with like envy and stuff. They're always on the top of the list. Because Optic really does play well when they play Call of Duty. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying Phase is bad, but Optic is just better in a certain way. And I would like to be big as Optic and stuff like that someday. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best just to get bigger on YouTube. Like I really want to. Like I've been trying hard. I've been working hard just to get bigger. Because I have <clears throat> like this couple of equipment. I have my 360 and Xbox One. Two monitors and a game capture card. So that, because I, you can tell by me like that, like I have all this stuff. Like I, w I also want a, like a good mic, because right now I'm using headphones as my mic, or if my, or it records on my phone's audio, because I use my phone to record gameplays, not gameplays, uh, commentaries. For kind of sakes. And hopefully I will get like a PC singer or something, because I, I really want a PC so I can do better edits and stuff. I can 
make better montages, I can make better channel art, I can make better videos. And all I use right now is this, my school laptop with Movie Maker, and it's all, it's all available to me is a Movie Maker and Photoshop. Like, I want to try to make more thumbnails, but I need to practice more and get better at it. But our montage should be out today, tomorrow, I don't know, within the week. It's within a week or till the end of this month the montage will be out. But I'm planning to release the montage today, sometime today. So if you want to see that montage, go go find our channel, Sway's Clan, capital S and capital C. The rest is lowercase, called Sway's Clan. At the end of Sway's, it's with a Z, not a S. S. Sway's. Sway's Clan. And they've been really wanting to get better at doing commentaries too. Like right now, this commentary is going 5 minutes and 50 seconds long, which is like probably my second my second long commentary I ever did. I think the last commentary I did was over 6 minutes, but this commentary will probably beat the other com commentary that was over 6 minutes long, which I would like to do longer commentaries, but maybe in the near future, maybe in a year or two when I have my own apartment. I'll be able to do live comms and live streams when I get better internet. Like, I, I plan to do better stuff. I plan to live stream. I, I would love to live stream on Twitch or YouTube. But I, I will need better internet and a better computer. But I want to know, what other games do you guys want me to play? I have Minecraft for the 360, which I have a really awesome world that I've been working on a lot. It's a really nice survival world. And Or would you like me to record some GTA 5? Like GTA 5 private matches or something, or I'll go racing around something, or go racing with random people online, or something like that. Just, t just add, tell me that you want to see something else, or I'm just going to stick to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, or have MW3, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 1 for the 360. But the only game I have for my Xbox One is literally Black Ops 3. I liked more games, but... For me to get more games, I will, I will need more money. Like, I plan to get a job soon, hopefully, so I can buy more stuff. Like, as soon as I get, I get a job or something, I want to get a mic. I want to get, like, a blue small snowball or, or a blue Yeti. That's the mics I would want to get. Or maybe I, want, I, want, I also want these game headsets called Razer something. Like, I know it's Razer headphones, but I forgot the actual, like, the second name part is, like, Razer something. But it's these green headphones that will plug into your Xbox, PlayStation. I think I think you can do it with phone too. Those those are like seventy dollars, but I have to save up money for that. I really want that. But I also want like like I said, I want a mic so I can make better commentaries. So I'm using these headphones as my mic. And oh my goodness, this video is eight minutes long. I meant commentary. God, what am I thinking? I I can't think today. Goodness sakes. So this is what happens when I'm home alone to make commentaries. They're, make, they're like over eight minutes long. Look at this. Like the, this is the longest commentary I have ever done. Let's see if I can get this to ten minutes or over ten minutes. I would also like to do story time. Like I can do story time right now. Alright, so so here is my little small quick story. I'm going to try to make this story as quick as I can to maybe beat ten minutes. But this story is the time that I the this sounds like well, like sound like a clickbait title, but I'm not gonna name it. I almost died or something like that. I'm just gonna name it something else. But here's a quick story: this is the time that I almost died when I was younger. So what happened? I was at a campground with my friend. We brought our our bikes. At the time, I had a little small maybe BMX bike, but it was like a heavy BMX bike. It wasn't like the like a true BMX bike. But we're just riding on some trails. So when I go went to go back to the camp trail, where this camping site was, there was this river going through the campsite. So when I was riding, when I was going back, there was this road and this river area. There was not that much space between the road and the riverside. So on the riverside, there was a big, huge cliff hill thing. But when I was riding my bike, I went to slow down, and my back tire literally slid almost off the cliff and I almost fell off the cliff and that would have been horrible because I would have fallen in the river or something and I don't know if I was like I probably would have survived but I, I don't know because 
I've never done it before. But I literally, my back tire of my bike literally almost fell off to the cliff. And my bike is really heavy. I was riding on the side of the road, and I was slowing down. My bike, like my front tire stayed the same. I think I, my, I broke hard, and my back tire literally, because it was a rocky little, it was a rocky pathway on the side of the road. Because there was, there was not that much shoulder room on the road where, I, where we were camping. Because there was a bunch, there was a bunch of cars on that road, so I don't want to ride on the road. So I rode on the side where there's gravel. So I think I broke hard, and my pack tire literally whipped out, and literally my my tire was literally right on the edge. You literally saw no room where the edge and the gravel walkway was. My my tire was literally right on the edge, about to fall off, and I was like literally freaking out. Like I was so scared. I didn't really want to ride my bike over there ever again because it's probably where I got the, my scared of heights thing because I don't really like heights anymore. But I hope you sh enjoyed that little short story at the end of this commentary. But we are literally 11 minutes into this commentary, which I am very surprised I was able to do this. But hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if there's still some video left of this commentary or at this end of this commentary when that commentary ends hope you enjoy the rest of this video peace